fucking notification. I swiped on it. That took me out of the camera app. So I'm just gonna release this in two videos. Um, I'm just at the point, not that I was ever at a point where I was very dedicated to pr presentation or anything, but I'm just at the point where it's like, I'm just gonna talk to the fucking camera and put the videos online. Like, I, I, I overthink this shit so much and I get in my own head and it's, it's starting to piss me the fuck off. Like, I'm not even like, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it just, it pisses me off, so I'm just done. Getting, like, bit the fuck up. I hate Texas. There's fucking mosquitoes everywhere. It's fucking disgustingly hot half the year. Yeah, and like, <laughs> you know, that's another thing with me. It's like, I've been pretty pissed off the last year. So I understand that people don't always want to be around someone that's pissed off. But, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things to be pissed off about in this world. I try not to let them rule me. I definitely try not to make, like, <laughs> I definitely don't try to get involved in any of that, like, outrage political shit like you should be outraged about this or that but um yeah I'm pretty outraged about some shit and it's like also with um just making videos and shit it's like you know most people that are willing to go up here and do this are a hypocrite like we're all hypocrites to some degree okay we all are but uh it's like i want to tell people how to how to be better but it's like in a lot of ways i don't even really even know but i do think that one thing that like is going to keep me doing this is just to build a community because it's like you know a lot of things i say are off the cuff so it's like i'm not saying that i'm that i'm 100 percent correct about everything that i say like i'm definitely open to change changing my beliefs um like certain beliefs you know and um i think that's a healthy and natural thing but i, I I don't know man I just I want to change the like the self-help world because I want to help people I want to help people help themselves and I do believe I can do that right now and like I'm saying it's not about me telling you what you need to do it's just me I think it's mostly just me being here and saying I'm going through these things too we're in this together And again, it's like, if I'm speaking on ideals here or what we should do, it doesn't mean that I'm always doing these things right. But I still think it's beneficial to say because it keeps it in my mind and in my energy. And it also, you know, puts it out there to you people. So, ah, oh man, I don't know what... I don't know, you know, all you guys who follow me or subscribe to me, but, you know, shadow work, like, if you're doing it, or if you're planning to do it, just be ready. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty.
Yeah. So like, when I started all this shit, I was a very confused person. <coughs> I'm not so confused anymore about who I am. I'm more struggling with what appears to be external factors fucking with me. Alright, this is just fucking out of control. There's just mosquitoes everywhere. This is what I'm... This is what I'm talking about. Like... There's a lot of things fucking with me. And I'm doing my best. Like, I haven't been able to make music. My computer broke. I haven't been able to work out really. And again, like I say, if I talk about this stuff with people, they don't want to hear it. They think I'm just making excuses. If you think that, then fine. But I suggest you just unsubscribe. Because I'm not fucking around. I'm not crying. Woe is me. I'm telling you what's going on. This shit been hard and that's another thing with this shadow work it's it's like you've got a bunch of these this scars that didn't heal and they need to be ripped open and then when that happens you, you're vulnerable so you know I'm doing this but I'm still a beginner in a lot of ways that like trying to keep myself protected Trying to not get too upset. Trying to just, you know, roll with the punches. But it's like, if you're going, if you're getting punched for two years in a row, shit gets pretty hard. So yeah, most of these people that are giving you advice, they're not even, they haven't even worked through their own shit. So nobody's perfect, there's always going to be, you know, room to improve, but like, um, a lot of people that are in, this is another issue with, um, the business world, the entrepreneurial, social media world, the manosphere, the red pill, alt-right, they... You know, and it's nothing new under the sun. It's been like this for years before the internet. They teach you to idolize rich people. They teach you, like, literally idolize them. Like, see them as deities. Um, give up your power to them. And give them your energy. So, yeah, it's a fuck. It's a it's a fucked up narcissistic fetish. But they're using everyone for and um, they basically tell people that if you're going through problems in life it's your fault and um, you are the only one that can do anything about it. And while there is empowerment to thinking like that, it can definitely fuck you up because it can make you hate yourself. Like, if you need to come to terms with the fact that you have been through some shit and people have done you wrong and you did yourself wrong, like, you need to come to those terms. You can't just live ignoring 
one whole side of things if you're doing the shadow work if you're being initiated you can't live like that so it appears with everything that I've been going through there's like blockages that have been keeping me from coming into my power building the people around me that I want to be with because a lot of the people that I've talked to about this kind of stuff in, in the real world it's just been like in one ear out the other or arguments or some sort of false um, sim sympathy or something in between all that or just yeah in one ear out the other complete ignore ignore I don't know if that's a word ignore that's not a word <laughs> Um, that's funny. Um, but yeah, the more and more that I've um, gone down this road, the less people I look up to, the less people I want to associate with. So, you know, I can see why some people say that working with the demonic is very bad because <laughs> it's put me in this place that looks like I am an antisocial hermit that has simply lost and is just defeated but um, I think we all we all need to go there we all need to do some things like what I've done and gone through. So, yeah, you just got a lot of unaware people running around like fucking mad men and, and mad women. It's just, it's a mad fucking world. So, just be prepared. Be prepared for madness. I'd like to say I'm going to put up more videos soon, but I don't like doing these videos anywhere. I'm not comfortable doing them anywhere. Um, I, I'll definitely put up more videos, I just don't know when it's going to be. Every time I sit outside, I get fucking destroyed by these bugs. But I am there talk about some of these things. I have a Discord. I'll put the, the link for that in the description. I have a Twitter. At Trend Mage. Yeah, just Trend Mage. T-R-E-N-M-A-G-E. -E. I have an Instagram. I think that's Trend Mage with two E's at the end. I am not someone that wants to just tell some other people what to do. I want to help people. I want to, and this is why, okay, because I'm very wary of someone that says they want to help people. But the reason I want to help people is I want to see the world be better. I want to see the world change. I'm not happy with the way things are. I don't want to just teach you a bunch of things through just telling you things. But, like, I'm here to give advice to whatever capacity I can and, you know, chime in on whatever you, you guys want to talk about. here. 
I wish everyone well. And I wish myself well. I hope things get a lot better. I think it may well. I just, I just don't know when. Because I'm excited for the day when I'm in more of a successful position. So, yep, thank you guys, appreciate it.